Oh, it's been a crazy day. I'm sitting on the Kaku seat for the uh, wudu. Maybe I'm just tired, but it's very comfy. Now, let's go ahead and take some footage of that. It has a nice tank well right here. You could definitely put a small cooler right here. You got the spongy cables, all your stuff. Power pole, adapter right here, and you got two more fittings. Probably if you want to add a water system to it. If you just want to add like a torpedo, look at that. It comes almost ready for that. Just put the steering cables through here and the mount right here. Same thing with the base peak. If you had to uh, replace it later on, you could do that. What about 12 inch Yak Attack top loading gear tracks? Right here, we got two flush mount prop holders pointing backwards. We got a seat that is super secure right here. I don't know if you're going to be moving this on the water. Looks like it's only one seated position. Paddle holder, handles, more Yakata gear tracks. It's probably 18 inch. You got the nice padding right here. And you also have one, two, three, four more scopa holes. And you have the footrest, which you could easily adapt a motor system on this thing. Front, you got an iPad, you can put some cables in there, and you have this hatch right there in the front, you get access to the whole My version of a modified V hole, and it, it's made to be fast, but yeah, had great stability. So it's similar in design to my 12 and a half version. I just made a couple alterations to it because a, a, a shorter yak usually doesn't track. Yeah, it doesn't, and they're usually not very stable for standing. So I, I reduced my my rocker on it, and uh, and I dropped my keel about two inches on it so that it would track better and so it'd be stable for standing. So you can stand in it good, it's fast. It looks fast. It's very maneuverable. It looks like a kayak is just gonna glide yeah. through the water and if you look at it you think it's longer. <laughs> How well much because it's got all of the features still. Yeah. So it's still got all of the tracks. It's still got a micro power pole mount at the back. Yeah, I saw that. And, and you could easily put a motor on it and you have the fit for the rotor system right there. And even the foot press. I wanted, I wanted to make a, a, a small yak that was um, for people that wanted a more compact yak but didn't want to give up all of the nicer features of a bigger yak. Yeah. So they still wanted a really good yak, they just didn't want a big, they, big also, bulky one. Also, sometimes you don't have the space right? or you don't have a truck, yeah. you know. Um, how much do they retail for? $8.99. $8.99, not bad. And it comes like that without, with yeah. the paddle or without the paddle? Without the paddle. Without the paddle. And it has, yeah, it, this, is, this is like ready to fish. Yeah. And the seat looks really strong too. Yep. Good job. Yeah. We manufacture our own seats out of aluminum on all of our boats. So uh, we mold all our own bolts. We make our own uh, aluminum. It's a nice kayak. It's different. Yeah. But I think that's what you're looking for, right? I like making unique stuff. Yeah. So much of the stuff out there right now looks all so cool. It's hard to tell them all apart. Exactly. Yeah. It looks like a mean fishing machine. Like ready to get fish. 